The Metaverse is here, and this is the third video where I'm going to break down Apple's offering into the Metaverse. So we know that we've talked about in the first video, we broke down, you know, what's going on in the Metaverse, where the world is going, etc. Second video, I looked at Facebook's Ray-Ban Stories, their new product offering, and I sort of analyzed what that was doing and how interesting that was. And in this video, I'm going to look at Apple's rumored, the Apple Glass, that's what they're calling it right now, it's rumored. Uh, and these are some of the features that they've said are going to be on it. So let's listen and hear this. You know, I talked about before how it's very different from what Facebook is offering. But Apple, you know, Apple just understands consumer behavior and it's already going to be integrated into Apple's ecosystem, which makes it easier for you as a consumer to just purchase from Apple as opposed to Facebook. I talked about how it's, it was very important for Facebook to come out with their product offering before Apple, just so they can get a little bit of a lead and get people to want to buy into their products. We don't know when Apple is coming out with theirs or how advanced it is in the technology, but let's check this out. But before we get into that, please like, follow, subscribe, all the above. It really pushes this video out in the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos. This video is brought to you by Brand Video Pros Members Lab, an online course that helps brands and influencers scale their influence and in sales. Now let's begin. The upcoming Apple Glass is Apple's latest addition of another auxiliary device to its famed Apple ecosystem. These glasses will be using the up-and-coming augmented reality technology, or AR for short. AR, which should not be confused with virtual reality, or VR, takes digital objects and systems and merges them with the natural world surrounding its user. VR, on the other hand, is a totally virtual world where users can interact with digital objects. Apple isn't the first one to realize the potential of AR-capable glasses. Both Google and Microsoft have also tried developing their own AR glasses. Google's Glass program was shut down back in 2015, primarily due to poor reception of the device by the public. Users didn't like the design. They thought it was bulky and overpriced. And in the end, most users admitted there was no need for such a device, mm. at least back then. Microsoft HoloLens, on the other hand, is still under development and could offer Apple direct competition. Apple Glass should not be confused with Apple VR, which is a totally different product. Apple is also developing a mixed reality headset, but the detail- I love that, a mixed reality headset. That's the kind of um, augmented reality or, or metaverse kind of system that, that we're really looking at. Like I'll be able to walk down the street and still see everything in front of me, but at the same time, I'll get all this digital data that tells me about the things that I'm looking at. So Apple's already thinking about this from how uh, from a consumer behavior perspective and a consumer experience perspective um and that's our you know hey i'm pro apple but the details on that are really scarce apple glass is totally an augmented reality device augmented reality itself is not something new either remember the famous pokemon go mobile game it also used augmented reality to engage players and catch pokemons but apple has a very different goal in mind with the apple glass they want to make it part of your daily routine, so you can swipe through your messages as you eat your morning breakfast without touching your phone. Combined with other Apple devices, it could offer... One thing I have to say is that as exciting as what Facebook has to offer, I just didn't feel that excitement when I watched the video of them talking about it. I didn't ex feel the experience of the reveal of this innovative and exciting product the way that steve jobs made us feel about the introduction of the iphone the way that every time there's a new iphone and we see him on stage in that same stage i don't know if it's the same stage but it always looks the same revealing the new iphone i just didn't get that excitement in the marketing behind facebook's um behind facebook's Ray-Ban glasses and and as much and it's so interesting to me because when you look at Apple you look at Facebook you think that you think that all companies are the same these companies at the top they're all the same because they all have billions and billions and billions of dollars but ultimately the truth is they're not the same because whoever is driving that ship whoever is that innovator sets the tone for the culture 
and the language and the marketing of the brand. And that is what will drive that brand from the top to the bottom everywhere, in every way. Like they say, the way you do anything is the way you do everything. Or is it the way you do one thing is the way you do everything? Let me Google the quote. Yeah, that's the quote. The way you do anything is the way you do everything. And so the way that Steve Jobs designed Apple as a company in terms of understanding consumer behavior, in terms of exciting people with their marketing, the iPhone is not innovating as you know they haven't really innovated for the past few years but they still get us excited about it because they understand how to market to their consumers and i just feel like facebook hasn't mastered that craft yet and it's clear that he hasn't mastered it because of the nature of facebook he's never needed to master it because with facebook he owns the ecosystem and whenever there's a new feature a new launch you don't really you're never really told that there's a new launch on facebook it just appears and all of a sudden people get upset about like the way <laughs> the app has changed and it just seems to me that he's a little bit more used to you know make forcing consumers to adapt to his way that's kind of the culture of facebook not you know in terms of the utility of the app because like there is no real competitor to facebook so people are going to take it or leave it um and that's almost the attitude that's the almost the attitude i feel that i'm getting out of you know the way he's marketing um these glasses but what he doesn't understand the difference between software and or what would you call it with with social media and products right selling actual products the difference is you can't tell us to take it or leave it because we're not going to buy it. So you want us to buy it, you have to excite us about it. So I think that he really needs to sit down and focus. Maybe poach some of the people on Apple's team. Find, you have billions of dollars. Find the best marketers in the world. They are available. They are on your platform. Find them, sit them down, and, and come together and figure out how to excite consumers about your product. Because right now, I'm just not excited and I'm already so much more excited about what uh, Apple might have for me in the marketplace, might have, as opposed to Ray, your Ray-Ban stories that's already available. I didn't even know that they were available. And you have bil 2 billion people on your platform. I'm on Instagram every single day, and I don't even know it's available today. I can just walk in and get it now. How do I know this? Marketing is important. But let's keep going. An excellent creative outlet for productivity, like using Apple Glass to visualize changing your house with a new decoration style. The rumor mill on the Apple Glasses has been running for months. So let us take a deeper look into what Apple Glasses has to offer when it finally does come out. Details about the Apple Glass. The design philosophy with Apple Glass, according to Apple, is that they want to bring all the information from your phone to your face. Specifically, they are aiming for Apple Glass to synchronize with a wearer's iPhone to display things such as texts, emails, maps, and games over the user's field of vision. And they want all of this to fit into the Apple ecosystem they have already set up with other Apple devices. Apple also has plans to support third-party apps and is considering making a dedicated app store, similar to how you get apps for the Apple TV and Apple Watch. But as we get more into the details about the technology behind the Apple Glass, it gets more exciting. One such feature of the Apple Glass is what can only be described as optical subassembly. According to a patent filed by Apple, they are planning to use Apple Glass as an in-headset vision correcting system that won't need the wearer to wear prescription glasses beneath their Apple Glass. According to the patent, this optical subassembly will automatically adjust for people with poor eyesight. Gone will be the days when you'll need to get a new prescription. As device. Okay. Let's hold off a little bit on that. That is genius. If that is actually real, a few questions like how are they going to able to, how are they going to be able to do that? Put a subscription, a digital prescription on your glasses, and it's not going to be healthy for your eyes. Um, that's super interesting. And they're just like that. If they are able to actually do that, they're going to put so many people out of business. Ophthalmologists, all of that. They're going to put everybody out of business. Damn. <laughs> Wow. Look, that's what technology does. That's what computers do. They put people out of business. Let's keep going. Places like Apple Glass will be able to change their optical properties on the go. 
Another patent describes that Apple Glass will allow users to change the background of the objects they see on the fly, similar to how you can change backgrounds on video conferencing applications. Like, I, I just want to say that it seems from all this technology that, that they're talking about, there's no reason that Facebook would not have released half of these features if the technology was available. And it just sounds to me as though the technology is not even maybe we're like a couple years away from it and so if that's the case it's very smart for mark to release his glasses now so that we can get used to you know he can build that trust with his consumers get us used to using his products and services get us used to using his glasses so that that is the only one that dominates the marketplace so this is a very genius idea even though his glasses are not fully ready they have the bare minimum of things available, but at the end of the day, look, we can use his glasses and it will do wonders for us. Let's keep going. Zoom or Microsoft Teams. And this type of feature is to be expected from an augmented reality wearable device. The patent explains that this will be done using a process called chroma key, where a solid color background can be replaced with a digital background. Apple Glass will be using images from its camera and detecting color ranges to make a composite and then digitally insert virtual content. So imagine you are looking at a wall. Apple Glass can start showing you your calendar on it as you browse through it. Apple Glass will come equipped with a LiDAR scanner on the right-hand side. But up till now, Apple hasn't confirmed the mounting of a camera on the frame. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, and it is a very popular remote sensing method that uses light to draw a picture of the world around it. This type of sensor is most commonly used on driverless vehicles. LiDAR allows the sensor to map the world around it in 3D. This sensor will be at the heart of Apple Glass's ability to map the world around its user and augment digital features via its display. Another feature that is rumored to be on the Apple Glass is something that can only be described as an immersible Google Street View. The difference is that unlike Google Street View, where you see the street on your mobile device, by using Apple Glass, you will be virtually transported to that view and have a full 360-degree view of the location. Information extracted from patents also suggests that Apple may use Apple Glass to help users see better in the dark. This would be done using depth sensors that could provide the user with better spatial awareness in low light conditions. Specifications In terms of specifications, most experts agree that we can see a 52 degree field of view and 47 pixels per inch of pixel density, similar to Microsoft's HoloLens. The Apple Glass is expected to use Wi-Fi to connect directly to your phone, since, as we mentioned, it will depend on the iPhone for most of its processing. The battery life is expected mm. to be around three hours on a single charge, but Apple will be providing some convenient wireless charging cases to make it feasible for users to take the Apple Glass out for a long day. Design According to leakers, the most current Apple Glass prototype looks brazenly like a regular pair of plastic glasses. This would actually be a good thing. The less standout design, the more people will be willing to use it as an everyday accessory and less as a gimmicky device that they only use once to show off. Apple's own marketing materials for the Apple Glass suggest a Clark Kent look. The Apple Glass is designed as an accessory to the iPhone and not an independent device, similar to how currently the Apple Watch functions. And since it will be equipped with various sensors and electrical equipment, you can expect the Apple Glass to be a little heavier than your conventional glasses. Another exciting mm. feature from the rumor mill suggests that Apple will be going the modular route with swappable arms of the Apple Glass frame, similar to how Apple allows its Apple Watch users to switch watch bands with different ones. It's refreshing to see Apple giving its users the option for more customizability. Rep one thing I have to say is that what I find interesting is that this video came out on September 5th and Mark Zuckerberg made the announcement on September 9th. And it seems as though, because it's saying like, he's saying it as though Apple has, is rumored or Apple has stated this and that, right? Um, and to me, it just seems as though they might have been pushing a marketing campaign to get it out to people that they're coming out with their own also so that like people just don't get too like married to the idea that Mark Zuckerberg did this first because me just watching this tells me oh well Apple's doing it too uh Mark Zuckerberg is not a, a or Facebook is not an innovator in this space and when it comes to hardware it's it's Apple that you're gonna go to let's keep going Reportedly, this will be done using small magnets and divots on the mainframe to help secure the swappable arms concerns Users do have some concerns about the privacy with the announcement of the Apple Glass. Imagine recordings of what you see and do being sent back to Apple. That is a scary thought. 
The patent filed by Apple does detail a couple of fixes around the privacy concern. One fix is using a camera module for the Apple Glass that is easily removable by the user if he chooses to do so. Another fix is to use a modular key as a kill switch for the camera. A lot of laptops currently use a similar system to turn off a front-facing camera on their laptops. Pricing Price estimates about the Apple Glass come from a well-reputed Apple leaker, John Prosser. According to Prosser, we can expect the price to be somewhere around $499. An apple leaker, an apple leaker. <laughs> Sorry, I've just never heard of a tech company having a leak. Like we hear about it from like music, but okay. This is a very steep price for a device that will be dependent on the iPhone for most of its processing power. But this is still very reasonable compared to Microsoft's HoloLens, which has a hefty price tag of $3,500. But if we are fair to HoloLens, it does come with all its electronics to run an augmented reality environment independently. When can we expect a release? Well, the water is murky on the release date. According to a report by Bloomberg, we wouldn't see the Apple Glass hit the shelves until 2023 at the earliest. Apple had intended to announce that product as early as 2023. I just said this. <laughs> it seems like it's a few years out from all the technology that they want to add, and it makes sense that Mark has come into the marketplace first because he's offered the most, the bare minimum, the basics, but he needs that those two years to get some leg room to, to, to build a customer base with hardware because he hasn't done it before. So he needs that for him to be able in two years to compete with Apple. Uh, because if he came out with his, at the same time that Apple came out with theirs, nobody's going to use Facebook, so let's be honest. Bloomberg is basing this on information leaked from an internal presentation shown at Apple. But other industry analysts disagree. Ming-Chi Kuo, an analyst at TF International Securities, thinks that we might be seeing the Apple Glass as early as 2020. If anything, if he's saying that, I just think this is just, they're, they're running the rumor mill to get us excited about it. That's... That's the strategy, it seems like Apple's like push Apple's leaking this themselves. Um, and well, this is what I think. Apple's probably leaking this themselves and just trying to get the rumors. So we're unsure. We don't know. Maybe it's going to come between 20. As soon as they can finish the well, as soon as they can refine it, they're going to put it out. So they're putting out rumors that let's let's let them believe it might come out in 2022. But worst case, 2023 is when it will definitely be out. Me too. She has been a reliable Apple expert in the past. The information has reported that Apple Glass has already passed the prototype stage and has now entered into the trial production phase of development. This means that Apple Glass is very near its mass production phase, and we might be seeing Apple Glass in Apple stores near us soon. All right, that was interesting. Um, in my view, Apple has everything to do with this video. Uh, let's talk about the pricing. Like, okay, so. $4.99, we all know Apple products are severely overpriced, but we buy them anyway, not because they're special, but because they're branded and marketed better than anybody else. And as well as the uh, user experience is superior to that of anything else, really. So those are the reasons why we purchase it. But $4.99 versus $2.99, which is what Facebook is offering, that's a huge gap. It's a huge gap. But then again, what the feature, the features with Apple are so much more superior to what Facebook is offering at the moment. Um, who knows when Apple Glass is going to come out and what Facebook will be offering then. But at the moment, what Apple is offering is far more superior. Anyway, so those are my thoughts. Please let me know your thoughts. Leave a message down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenem, and see you next time. Peace.